My colleagues and I are delighted that you are able to join us today for our inaugural Lifelong Learning Conference, an event that we are partnering with the Lifelong Learning Council and the Skills Future Singapore. This conference brings together renowned practitioners, researchers, opinion leaders, and opens the dialogue to discuss the role that higher education must play, must play to augment lifelong learning. Learning the treasure within and argued four pillars for a learning society. Learning to know and learning to do, learning to be and learning to live together. That's my four stages. It's clear that you can't have, as a university, a focus on lifelong learning without thinking about do you do it differently for different groups of people? But the real joy is seeing a twinkle in the eye of a new learner that, as a result of something that you, you discovered. But we're all always, well, forgetting that learning is done by me, not by an organization or by a system. Because what's more difficult for teachers uh, uh, to do is to listen first to the learners in order to come up with a learning program that fits in with the needs of the learners. It's about knowing oneself better. That's at the heart of lifelong learning. When we're thinking about public policy, the objective should be to give people the capacity to live lives that they're proud of, lives that they value. There's no one size fits all. We can't offer you one solution, but we're offering you a way of thinking about these issues. You've got to reflect on the potential <clears throat> of learning from the capabilities approach. Your challenge is, how do you move from developing the nation to developing individuals? That's a huge shift. To build up a sustainable society. For that, it has 17 sustainable development goals and just 169 targets. Learning needs to be celebrated. We need to have festivals. We need to enjoy learning. We need to show the people, uh, our, our citizens, that learning, it's a joy. It is the time to take actions to utilize its full potential for cultivating a sustainable learning society. The basic idea is that what you learn before actually can be very useful, can also be very damaging to what you're going to learn next. And that's particularly important. Because if they pick up something that's not accurate, something that's not properly applied, you do have a problem in trying to convince a student uh, you know, about how the, the world actually works. For example, I used to teach physics. Uh, I have a hard time convincing my student that electrons are not like ping pong balls. Learning is done by a student. Our role is really to, to help them along.